Tommy Latier of the Independent Film School, and once a year I offer this uh, free training to screenwriters, and I get so many questions there, I can't get to all of them. So, in five minutes, I'm going to rapid fire, get through a whole bunch of questions I received that I did not manage to reply to. Click the link below to join the training. If you missed it, request a replay, we'll send it to you. Welcome to the Independent Film School. I'm Ella Tier. Okay, here goes, five minutes on the clock. Well, okay, questions, let's see. Should typed free writes be done in screenplay format? Okay, so free write is when you're just putting words on the page, you don't stop to edit. Whatever words come, you just put them down, put them down, put them down, don't stop to think. A lot of amazing things come out of free writes. Should they be in screenplay format? No. Um, they don't need to be. They can. I will sometimes pull up a screenplay. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah. <laughs> Software. Thank you. You only have five minutes a lot. And I'll free write. Uh, but you don't need to. I've done free writing where you just put the initial for each person's name or um, whatever. But it should be a screenplay. So you're only writing dialogue and actions. You're only writing things that we can see or hear. So even though you're not using screenplay format, you're still writing a scene. Hope that makes sense. Okay, next question, four minutes left. Difference between a skit and a short film. Okay, I would say a skit is you have some cool concept that you explore and maybe you end it on some clever button. Whereas a short film, it really is a complete story in and of itself with an arc, with a beginning, middle, end, with some very meaningful decision at the end that demonstrates an arc. So it has all the characteristics of a full-fledged film, but in a short amount of time, rather than a skit, cool premise, cool button at the end. Okay, hope that's clear. Um, what do you think of the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once? I think it was wacky and so amazing. That definitely seems to be more than about one theme. No, 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 it's not. See, in this training, I talk about how the best stories are about one theme, because if your story is about more than one thing, then it's not about anything. So everything, everywhere, all at once is absolutely about one thing, which is that you can make so many decisions in life, right? If you make this decision, you end up here. If you make that decision, you end up there. Not No plot spoilers, but watch it, by the way. But the theme of that whole story is that kindness, connection, is the most important decision you can make. And it doesn't matter if that, des if that decision ends you up running a laundromat as opposed to another decision that would have made you a big star. The right decision, the most powerful decision you can make at any given time is that of kindness, generosity, connection. That's what that movie is about through and through. It's just one theme. Okay. What type of scripts are bought these days? I have two minutes left. What type of scripts are bought these days? Uh, it is an absolute exercise in futility to try and figure it out. First of all, from the time you write a script to the time you, if you ever manage to get it through whatever doors, it can take years. So what people are looking for now is not what people are going to be looking for in three months, much less in three years. Um, right now I'm developing a project that I wrote 20 years ago. So who cares what people are looking for now? You're going to write your best possible story and that's what's going to make it timeless. Okay. Ah, minute and a half left. How long should full scripts be? Uh, short films, sweet spot is 8 to 12 pages, which translates to 8 to 12 minutes. That's, uh, if you're looking for festival circuits, that's easiest to get in. Feature films, 90 to 120 is long, 90 to 110 pages, okay? Pilots, half hour would be around 30, one hour would be 50 to 60. Okay, I have a minute left here. Um, I have trouble being consistent with giving each character their own personality. They tend to become the same person, me. How do I keep that from happening and making it authentic? Will I find my answer? <laughs> Will you find your answer? Um, blah, 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 how do I want to answer it? Yes, every character is, your job is to connect to that character emotionally and give us something truthful. 
but the, you are very complex because you're a real human being. You're not a character. So every part, aspect of you could be a different character. There's a part of me that's very generous. And I could connect with that when I write that character. And there's a part of me that's very stingy and feels like, what will I have enough? I can totally connect with that. That's going to be a different character. So give your, each character their signature thing and then connect with that part of you. All right. Should sub-characters have a goal? Yes. That's it. You've subscribed to my channel. You love these videos. It's time for that 90 minute masterclass where I help you eliminate writing blocks and arrive at your best screenplays. Join me at the independentfilmschool.com. Link is below and I'll invite you to my training. It is absolutely free. I'll see you there.